Hey guys. So I know that we've been kind of talking about a lot of things like self-reflection and um, self-identification, who we are, what are we here for, um, our purpose in life, all of that kind of thing. I think that that's a really good way to really reflect inward and look at yourself and where you came from and where you want to go, um, especially for like the new year and for new things to come. I think that that's really a good idea um, to do that. Um, and so that's kind of why these topics have kind of centered around that, but also because I feel like it's something that I've really been dealing with in my life. And so, you know, inevitably, and when I'm dealing with things in my life, I bring it to you guys because that's just how I operate. And so that's kind of the thing that I've been doing um, here lately. And so Today, I just kind of wanted to talk to you about a couple of things. Um, if someone were to ask you who you are, who are you? What are the kind of things that would come to mind for you to tell that person? And that's my question today. That's, that's where I want to, you know, revolve. I want this whole conversation to really revolve around. Um, hold on, baby. That's fine. You can have them. That's fine. Shut the door, please. Um, I want this whole conversation to kind of revolve around that. So if someone, let me, let me just give you an example of myself. If someone were to ask me that question, what would come to mind naturally? What natural things would come to my mind that I would say to answer their question? Um, who are you? I am a preacher's daughter. Okay, well, that's what you are. You're a preacher's daughter. Okay, that's not who you are. Okay, um, I am a mom. I'm a mama. A mama. We Southerners say mama. We don't say mother or mom. We really just say mama. That's what I am. I'm a mama. Um, no, that's what you are, right? That That's not who you are. That's what you are. You are a mother. Okay, I'm a wife. No, what you are. Uh I'm a crafter. No, that's that's what you are, or that's what you do. Even um, okay, I am a daughter. I am a sister. I am a no. That's what you are. Okay, God, what you know? What do you want me to say? I am um a child of God. Okay, that is who you are, okay, but but is that really you, you know, there's lots of children of God, is that you, is that what makes you unique, is that you, well, no, I mean, there, you know, like, there's a lot of children of God out there, you know, there's a lot of daughters of God out there, and it really, if you really dig deep and try to understand, who am I, who, you know, there are a lot of attributes that I, I consider a part of myself. I have a big heart. I am a tender hearted person, so much so that I am a welcome mat a lot of the time. It's really hard to make me mad or hurt me enough to cut you off. It's very difficult for me to do that. I will forgive in a heartbeat. I don't hold grudges. Um, it's very easy for me to forgive. Um, if you come at me and you are honest, you tell the truth, um, you are sincere and sorry, it's done. I don't, no second thought, it's done. So much so that my husband gets so irritated with me because I just let people keep on and on to a certain extent before I'm just like, nope, I'm done. Um, dishonesty is just about the only thing that I can't forgive just because I can't forgive you if you won't admit what you've done so I can forgive you that's pretty much the only thing that I can't forgive um, otherwise if you are dishonest and you eventually tell the truth and you're sorry again it's done um, dishonesty is just about the only thing I can't forgive uh, these are some attributes of myself I'm I'm very trusting I'm very trustworthy. Um, I am, I'm a wear my heart on my sleeve kind of person, but at the same time, I am a hide it all and take it on myself quietly, suffer in silence kind of person as well. Um, 
I've, I've told you this before, I don't like to share things inside myself. If, if I've got some stuff going on that's not affecting anybody else, it's just affecting me, I want to hide that, okay? I'm going to deal with it. Me and God got this, and, and I'm just not going to bother you with it. That's the kind of person that I am. Um, I'm, I'm very loving. I will love hard. Um, if I love you, that's all it is. It's, it's done. I will love you for life. I will love you with everything I've got. That's it. Um, no matter if you're a part of my family, if you're my friend, my husband, I love, love to the end with my whole heart. Um, nurturing, I want to nurture and mother everybody. It doesn't even matter who you are. I want to take care of you. Um, but again, all of these explanations of who I compare, who I consider all of the makeup of me, those are things that are what I am. It's not who I am. And the truth is, you can't really define yourself. Have you ever heard the expression, I know you better than you know yourself? Or he knows me better than I know myself. I feel like that about my husband. I know my husband better than he knows himself. He'll tell you that. He'll he'll admit it. Um, he thinks things about himself that are totally untrue. Women do this all the time. It's not just women, but Again, I say women a lot because I'm a woman. That's who I can speak to, right? So I know him better than he knows himself. He thinks all of these things about himself. I'm like, no, that's not true. You know, you're really feeling this way. And then he'll come to me and say, wow, you were right. You know, I just realized that you were right. Um, women, women do this all the time. You think badly about yourself. You have low self-worth. You have low self-esteem. You think that you can't do something or you're not going to do it right or um, I can't accomplish this. You're wrong. You don't always know yourself. So really when someone asks you, who are you? You can't define that. And I know this is like mind-blowing to some people because it really is. You really have to grasp this concept and really think on it to understand what I'm saying. But you're not the best person to answer that question. So who is? Is your husband? Well, no, because there's a lot of things inside of you that you don't always share or maybe you can't share because you don't understand them yourself. There's a lot of different things that you don't get about you yet. You haven't discovered things about yourself. You're always growing and changing. I mean, think about how much you change from your from when you're 20 to when you're 30. Whoa, lots of change, right? In that 10 year span, that small time frame, you change so much. It's like, whoa, I'm a whole different person. You're not, but you've just grown so much. You're constantly changing. That's why marriages fail. We're seeing more and more and more and more statistically marriages are failing for people that have been married for 20, 30 years. They're married. They have babies. The babies grow up. And when those babies are grown, the people sitting across from each other on the at the breakfast table are like, who the heck are you? Because you've changed so much. You can't just fall in love with someone, think that you know them, you're in love and you know each other, and then you don't communicate. You don't grow with each other. You don't get to know each other over and over again because you're constantly changing there's a lot of that that you don't even understand about yourself so you're not the best person to answer that question who am I there's only one person who can your children can't answer it your mama can't answer it your daddy can't answer it your siblings cannot answer it church members can't answer it your best friend can't answer it nobody can answer that question not even you there's only one person who can answer it and that's him that is him. He's the only person. And guess what? He knows. He knows every detail. He knows all the things that you don't know about yourself. You haven't discovered. He knows things that you haven't even begun to understand about the inside of you. He knows those things. He created those things. He made you that way. Things that you don't even know you can do. You don't even know you can accomplish these things. You never knew you wanted this. You never knew this was a desire of yours. But he does. He knows. And so when we're not in contact with him, when we're not conversing with him, when we're not praying like we should be, when we're not working on our relationship, which should be the most important relationship that we have, right? When we're not working on that, 
we're not knowing who we are. We lose sight of who we are. We lose our identity. And not to a crazy degree where we can't live life, but we can't live it to the fullest. Because if I'm not in conversation saying, you know, getting to know yourself by getting to know him so he can reveal things about yourself to you, um, revealing desires that you have, revealing that, hey, you can do this. I have created this desire inside of you for a reason. And we, if you allow me to, me through you, we can do this thing. We can do the dang thing. Let's do it. And so we just have to remember that you can't do life by yourself. Okay. We've talked about so many times before, um, you know, no man is an island. You can't do things alone. You're not meant to live life alone. Well, you're not meant to live life by yourself, but you're also not li- meant to live life with you and all these other people who can't define you the way he can. This here, this here is the most important relationship I could ever have. It is more important than my spouse. It is more important than my children. It is the most important relationship in my life because this helps me be me. It helps me be who I am and what I am to all of the people in my life. It helps me be a better wife. It helps me be a better mother. Am I blowing your mind again? It's true. Think about it. Um, Being a mom, you know, I talked about yesterday in my Fold With Me Fridays about mom life is a hard life, okay? It's not easy. It's not simple. It is hard and complicated. Half the time you don't know what the heck you're doing. You don't know why you're doing it. It's just like, Junior, you're never going to live past 20 because I'm going to kill you. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Like, there's all of these things that come popping up. You can't do that by yourself. I I don't know how people are doing it by themselves. I need patience. I need guidance to show me what to do. Lord, you know, what does Tristan and Killian need from me? What does Jaren need from me? What do I need to give them, you know? And every single thing, one child is completely different than the other. You know, being a stepmom to Jaren, I have to have constant guidance. Lord, how can I be the best stepmom to him? What does he need? He grows up in a completely different household with completely different rules, completely different routine. How can I be there for him? You know, his mom, um, I don't like to talk about a bunch of her business or his business on here because it's not my business, right? But his mom, her, her, um, I'm pretty sure it was her great grandmother had passed away and she, had asked Joshua, she texted him and was like, what do I tell him? You know, how do, how do I break this news to him? And I took the phone and I said, give it to me. And I said, you tell him that sometimes when we get really old, our bodies break down and Jesus has to take us to heaven so that we can be made well again. And we don't have to be sick and we don't have to be hurt and in pain. But Jesus takes us to heaven so that we don't have to suffer anymore, that we can be well. And he takes us to be with him because we've lived enough on earth and it's time for us to go to heaven. And so you're going to see her again when you go to heaven. You're going to see her again. But right now, Jesus just has to have a little time with her, okay? I said, that's what you tell him. And she was like, wow. Yes, that's what I, yes. And I didn't tell her it was for me. I just pretended Joshua was saying it. She was like, thank Ashley for me. She knew it was me. But why did she know that was me? Because she knows that I have a relationship that will allow me to speak into his life the way that he needs it. And that, I mean, it makes me want to cry a little bit, but that speaks wonders. It speaks volumes. She knew that that was me saying it. Because it was very spiritual and it was very connected, right? But I have to have guidance from him. I have to be able to listen and say, okay, I can hear you. But you can't hear that still small voice from him inside of your heart if you haven't heard it in a while, you know? If, if I hadn't heard my husband's voice in five years and then all of a sudden he calls me on the phone, it might be a little bit hard to distinguish his voice from someone else. I mean, maybe not him, but, you know, anybody. But if I'm hearing it every day, 
I'm going to be able to recognize it. And that's the way it is with God. You can't just, okay, well, we're not going to worry about this whole God thing for a long time. And, you know, whatever. And you don't pay any attention to it. And then all of a sudden you want him to, okay, God, I'm going to need you to work this miracle for me. And, okay, God, I'm going to need you to guide me. So I'm listening. You you might not know. You might not hear it, right? And I'm kind of getting off on bunny trails with with children and the way to deliver bad news to them and all kinds of other things. But my point is that you need direction from God. You need to talk with him. You need to converse with him because he's the one who really knows who you are. And so he's the one who can speak things inside of you and let you know who you are. No, you're not bad. You're not too far gone. He can't help you. No, you don't suck at life. No, you're not ugly. No, you're not trash. No, you're not worthless. You're not useless. No, you're not all used up. You're not too damaged. No, you can do a lot of things right. Yeah, you are good at it. You are beautiful. You are somebody. You are special. And he can show you all of those things, but you have to let him. And that means you have to talk to him and you have to listen. That's my problem. You have to shut your mouth and you have to learn to open your ears and listen. No, Ashley, I'm telling you no. Because sometimes his answers are no. He is answering you. It's just no. (laughs) And so sometimes I have to learn that. But he also speaks to me and tells me who I am. Pick yourself up by the bootstraps, Ashley. Stop wallowing in self-pity. You're better than this. Yes, you are. Stop saying you're not. You are. Grow up. It's time to get off the bottle. Start eating solid food now. Come on. Get up and do this. Do what I've called you to do. It's not always easy. It's not always a pep talk. Sometimes it's hard. But he helps you know who I am. He helps me know my purpose because all I can use is the descriptive words that I feel make me, me, but it's not really who I am. It's not what makes Ashley, Ashley, the only Ashley there is, the only unique God-made woman that can do the things that he's called me to do better than anybody else. I don't know what that is. I couldn't answer you. So if somebody asks me who I am, I'm who God made me to be. That's who I am. I'm doing the very best I can to be who he says I am. That's the only way I know how to answer. So I hope this encouraged you. I always want this to encourage you. Um, I feel like sometimes it's not always going to be self-help talks. (laughs) Sometimes it might be a little harsher. Like, come on, girls, let's, let's get to do in the dang thing, but not right now. I feel like it's just encouragement. That's what I want to pour on you. I want to pour love and encouragement and understanding. I want to lift you guys up. I don't want you to feel dragged down. There's so much negative. I want you to feel lifted up. I want you to know that you can do it because you are not who anybody else says you are. Nobody else defines you. Nobody else says, and I think that's what we're going to talk about next week too. We're going to get a little bit deeper into this because I'm already at 18 minutes. So yeah, but nobody else defines you. You are who he says you are. I am and so are you. And so as always, I will leave my email in the description box below so that you can definitely talk to me. Tell me anything you need. I am here for you. I am praying for you and I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.